<sighs> okay, let me get this straight. So the content creators of YouTube are suffering or feeling the wrath of something YouTube did illegally. Am, am I getting that right? We're getting in trouble for something YouTube has done and shouldn't have done and shouldn't be should have been doing in the first place. This platform has brought out so many celebrities, so many like entertainers, so many like amazing content over the years. That I can say. But this shit could actually end all of that. Now, I know I am not definitely definitely nowhere near family friendly. I cuss in mostly every last single bit of my videos. That that is without a doubt that I've never been aimed towards kids. I've never tried to aim myself toward kids. I just like playing certain games. But with the FTC not, you know, disclosing all of their whole rules and everything. Things like Pokemon, Minecraft, Roblox, stuff like that. You know, little minor things that are aimed towards, I guess, ready for everybody could actually be shut down on, on like multiple channels and multiple content creators could lose like so much re ad revenue that pays for their families and everything. I personally have a job, so YouTube isn't my main income. So yeah, I just do YouTube as a hobby. YouTube has literally helped me change a lot over the, over the years. And to see this platform just turn into this now, or what it will turn into if we don't actually, you know, speak our mind on this whole subject and get it out there that this is not something that we want or need on YouTube. Or to make it like somewhat more of something more balanced, actually. Let's go with that. Because this crap can actually ruin a lot of people's lives. And the FTC definitely do not care about your kids. I don't care what anyone says. They do not they do not care about your kids at all. That is a hands down fact. They're just after money right now. Cause they wouldn't be finding YouTubers this much. They would actually just be changing your stuff, you know, give you a little bit of warning now and then, you know, stuff like that. Give you restrictions. Yeah, like they're doing with child friendly content. At first it's just like make child friendly content oh well, is then this this year don't make child friendly content or you're just going to be restricted how does this all work from this point on is there is the real question i'm asking here like literally i i just don't understand where everything went wrong oh wait no everything went wrong when youtube started collecting child data that's the legal thing that they were doing collecting child data and to be honest literally the site is 13 and up <laughs> but on the same time at the same time YouTube should not have been collecting that data at all anybody knows that is that is illegal but I personally didn't even know they were doing that because I never looked at my analytics and I looked at my analytics and I'm more and towards older people <laughs> like 18 plus I believe but it's it's stupid that it's came this far and video games animation channels toy collecting channels which could be anime action figures they're also within this area too are getting mainly targeted off this vloggers are getting kind of targeted off this so it's just absurd but i have read a few like um articles and stuff one of the articles that you know have comments of the FTC is saying for example they are targeting dress up online games as for kids that is understandable because people who do play that tend to do aim at kids but otherwise other than that some people language though so they're going to send bots out to tell if our content is kid friendly or if it's not. If your content 
actually turns out to be kid friendly, you potentially open yourself up to a fine if you label it incorrectly. If your content is not kid friendly, you label it as kids, you still open yourself up to a four. 42k fine yeah makes no sense right makes no absolute fucking sense at all and this shit's literally just gonna cause so much chaos and generate it 20 2020 and when you think about it a lot of the youtubers are gonna disappear because they're deleting their channels because you know we can't afford to be getting hit with stuff like that People, this is literally dangerous to do to do YouTube in January 2020. Because uh, you're just opening yourself up to so many gray areas that have not been explained yet. And these gray areas are just going to ruin lives. And so many families, people could end up homeless doing this stuff. Just getting those fines. And... Most people are saying that bigger YouTubers are going to be targeted. Yeah, good luck. Because smaller YouTubers can get targeted as well. Especially if you if you start growing. Let's say this. If you're a small YouTuber and you start growing out of nowhere, you could literally be targeted from that point. So, yeah, you just better hope that whole growth doesn't take off. Then they'll start investigating your channel if that's the way it works. Or that that's the way it's going to work. You, you're literally just putting yourself in so much, you know, risk. It's literally going to be risky as hell to do YouTube. YouTube is no longer a platform to where it, it just feels like you're welcome at. It's either... We got to do something by expressing ourselves to the FTC. Do not, please, for the love of God, do not go out there sending death threats all this stupid shit that people probably have already done because that's just going to make it 10 times worse for us I, I know there are some immature people out there but for once in your life please be mature about this because this shit can actually get rid of a lot of people and that you could end up hurting a lot of people to be honest i am fully come to closure with deleting my channel if i have to i have no problem with that at all if I have to, I will go to full on Twitch or Mixer, some other site that is literally live streaming. Because literally, if they give me the option to, you know, pick of which audience I'm targeting, I'm going to pick adult and some other site. Hopefully they will understand actual logic between that. But we should be getting punished for what YouTube has done in the first place. It is YouTube's fault for collecting the data in the first place, not ours. And obviously it's gonna get out of control. But it, it's happened. It's already in motion. Some people are already getting their content changed to kid friendly and stuff like that. So you won't have the comment section. You're gonna be making less revenue. You're not really gonna pop up on recommended searches, stuff like that. So basically, if you're not already subbed to the channel, oh, good luck because you're not going to find that channel too often. <laughs> Fantastic. Great. And when they say popular cartoons, I just want this to be known. Animators don't always make kid-friendly cartoons. Why are you targeting animators? And, and they're saying anything that pretty much appeals to kids. Anything to build appeal to kids anything both violence can appeal to kids anything both colorful can appeal to kids anything more mature can appeal to kids everything can appeal to kids it doesn't make sense at all everybody grows up different everybody appeals to different things especially as a kid and it makes no sense of why you even tried to specify that because literally once kids start being able to talk and you know, start to learn more easier, they'll be attracted to anything. They'll appeal to anything. It's not just the cartoons or Minecraft or Roblox. They can literally appeal to Call of Duty. They can literally appeal to
to anything, to be honest. Because uh, it just makes no sense that this shit is going on. <sighs> but I've already said in my comment as calmly as I could, as well thought out as I could, as nicely as I could. It's just that it doesn't make any sense why we're going through this. If YouTube's done something, they should take responsibility for it. And yes, there should be something done against it somehow, but not in this way to where it just starts ruining people's lives. Like copyright claims were bad enough. Yeah, to add apocalypse, this is a whole new sort of hell that we're going to go through. And it's going to make a lot less people want to do YouTube. So YouTube's going to start start making way less money. FTC is not going to really make much because they're scaring away every last freaking YouTuber on a platform. And you're going to see a lot more people on the streaming sites, such as Twitch. A lot more people are going to be fully full time on Twitch 24-7. And YouTube is the biggest streaming platform as of now and to January, unless something, you know, changes. This, sh I don't even know what the fuck you say, dude. But like I said, I I've can't, I've come to terms with it. If I had to delete my channel, because there is no way I'm going to be searching through all freaking how many videos do I have? Like 3,000 now? I I don't think I could look through like all those videos just to see which videos are like family friendly, which of them are not. That That is going to take freaking years to do. Oh no, I actually don't have like 3,000 videos. I actually have 1,836 videos up. And you know what? That's still a lot of videos to be looking through. There is no way that I can do that. And I can't afford a fine. There's no way I could pay that. And I'm not going to jeopardize my family's lives on that. If it comes to such, I would straight up delete my channel. I have no problem with going to full-time twitch so with that said for those of you guys who are wanting to speak your mind to the ftc leave a comment to help out your favorite content creators it is not only just me it's a huge amount of content creators that are going to be targeted by this and even if you think a certain content creator will not be targeted oh he they will target them no worries even People who who are child friendly are getting their shit changed to kid friendly and could literally just be getting fined right now or are on the road to getting fined just because they're playing either Pokemon or Minecraft or talking about cartoons or reviewing cartoons. Yeah, you could literally get fucked over by that. What a great day to be alive. But if any information comes up or anything else, you know, at least easing of the soul, at least, I will definitely give you guys an update as much as everybody else is. Right now, I'm just making this video just to spread awareness. Everybody, every content creator is doing this and it has to be done. You got to play your part. You got to help out because this is going to be really rough for everyone. So many lives could literally be in danger and it's it's not good at all. I would go more into detail by with this, but trust me, everybody else on this platform has went to straight detail. Trust me, you can just once you find once you watch this video, a shit ton of them are gonna pop up in your recommendations, and I recommend you watch every last single one of them because they explain so much more. And yeah, just spreading awareness. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. <sighs> yeah, if you guys thought about the YouTube is over meme was just a meme. Yeah, it's about to be actual reality in fucking January if nothing changes.